the story of a Florida mom of three, on life support this morning after going to a local spa for what is believed to have been treatment for weight loss. And our Andrew Canning has more on this. Morning. This Good morning, is just, just grabs you. Yeah, and sadly, she is now brain dead. Uh, the doctor involved in this case has hired a criminal defense attorney who admits his client performed liposuction on her at a clinic that wasn't licensed, but claims he didn't know that. He says the procedure was done while she was awake using the anesthetic lidocaine to numb the pain. Her attorneys believe lidocaine may be to blame, but only an autopsy will determine what really happened. She was supposed to be in and out of this Florida day spa in two hours, but now Rohika Arukatan, a mother of three, is brain dead from complications surrounding liposuction. We just want the whole world to know that Rohi is a very sweet lady and we just hate to lose her and for those kids to be without their mother. Paramedics described Arukatan, a nurse herself, as not breathing, no pulse, and unresponsive when they arrived at the Weston Med Spa last Friday. Arukatan had been a regular customer at the spa for manicures, but her family attorney, Michael Friedland, says the unlicensed spa should not have performed liposuction. Something went terribly wrong that day. A 37-year-old healthy mother of three should not go into a medical spa for a routine procedure and come out brain dead. The lawyer for the doctor who performed the liposuction, Dr. Omar Brito, says he did nothing wrong. Dr. Brito performed a routine liposuction procedure uh, on the patient and unfortunately through this routine procedure, towards the end of the procedure, complications developed where the patient uh, had a seizure. Lidocaine is uh, commonly used in these types of procedures. Medical examiners have yet to reveal if lidocaine is to blame, but plastic surgeon Dr. Jennifer Levine says it can prove deadly if administered wrong. Lidocaine uh, could have a direct toxic effect depending on the dose that's injected. It's happened before. In 2004, North Carolina college student Shuri Berg died after applying too much lidocaine cream before laser hair removal. But last week's tragedy leads to a bigger question. Why did an unlicensed spa allow Dr. Brito to perform liposuction? Dr. Brito was unaware of the licenses that were obtained by the clinic or the licenses that were enforced by the clinic. Uh, Dr. Brito's license to practice medicine in Florida is valid. Weston Med Spa had no comment, but doctors say more people are now turning to these so-called med spas to save money, something Arukatan's family says is a risk not worth taking. The physicians have told the family that there's no hope of recovery. If any good can come out of this tragedy, um, the family would hope that other people would think twice before going to these type of facilities and we checked into the doctor's background. In 2006, he was fined $5,000 in order to perform community service for his role in an insurance fraud scheme. As for the family, they are now struggling with the decision of whether to take her off life support and homicide detectives, even though she hasn't officially died, are now oh. investigating this case. Three children under the age of 10. Big decision for this family. Father having a very hard time right now. So many un unanswered questions. Andrew, thank you so much.